left wondering, like, did the text go through? Did they read it? Are they just ignoring me? Is my phone broken? Is their phone broken? Do I need a new phone? Hey, y'all, and welcome to a new week of Hot Chocolate Chat. Today, I'm drinking a water because I tried a new workout today, and I'm feeling pretty healthy. I went to the gym today by myself because Marvin's back is hurting, and he didn't feel like going, so I tried the new workout, PF360. It's this big piece of equipment, and it has like ropes, and it's got like a little trampoline thing, and it holds medicine balls and kettlebells, and it's got like this pulley thing that you can like work out your arms and stuff, and it has like a platform thing, and a lot of stuff. So, you do each exercise for 30 seconds, and you do four exercises in a set. And then you do like three to four sets in the session. So basically in like 10 minutes, you can work out everything. I don't really know what to compare it to, but I think it's kind of like a CrossFit type workout. Although I've never actually done CrossFit, <laughs> really. It was CrossFit-ish. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, at the end of it, I felt like, I can do things. But the reality is I probably won't be able to walk or move my arms tomorrow, so. But I worked out today! So what I'm thinking is on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I'm going to do my full running workout. And then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to do half a running workout and then PF360. But all this hard work will not pay off if I don't change my eating. So, going to be working on that today. And I definitely don't want to do any diet gimmick key things like where, oh, just drink this drink or take this pill. Mm -mm. That's what I want to talk about today. The fact that I tried a new workout, PF360, and basically I'm awesome now. I could do like Tough Mudder. Hey y'all and welcome back to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a water and I want to talk about treadmill selection. I am a creature of habit and that just means I like to park in the same parking spot. I like to go the same route when we're going somewhere. Just kind of a routine kind of gal. And I like to work out in the same area when I go to the gym. So that's where the problem came in. I work out at Planet Fitness and at that gym I think there are like two rows of eight on the right side of the gym. I don't know how many. I think eight. But I only like to work out on that side because when we go, Marvin goes and works out in this one little room first, and then he comes and joins me on the treadmill. So I like to be on that side. Y'all tell me what you do. So the first slot was empty, and then there was a person, empty, empty, person, person, empty, empty. And I never really go to slot seven and eight. I never work on, I always work out on this, like slot one through five. In this scenario, I, I don't use, I never use slot seven and eight. So the only ones I have available are one, three, and four. Slot one would put me next to the Stairmaster and right next to that lady. And that's kind of like creeper status. Slot four was right next to the two ladies, but that'd be like I was ignoring that lady over there. But if I went in slot three, I'd be right next to her and be like, hey. I really like having just like an empty slot, empty slot on either side of me. So, it was a predicament. I didn't want to seem rude, but anyway, by the time I got to the treadmills, lady in slot number two left, so problem solved. This made me think of like the problem men have at urinals, like, or maybe they don't, maybe it's not a problem. I'm just thinking that you don't want like creeper status, like right up on them, you know what I'm saying? But you also don't want to be like antisocial. That's what I want to talk about today, where I should stand at the treadmill. And like, why can't we all just get on the same page every other one? Hey y'all, and welcome back to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a water because I'm trying to conserve calories, because it didn't work out this morning, but I'm going to tell you why. So this morning at like 3 in the... I just started, I just started with, so... Around 3 this morning, the tornado sirens went off, so it was like we were having a little bit of a weather situation. I got up, got my laptop, got my purse, got my car keys, got my shoes, put it in the bathroom, and then the storm blew over. Even though it blew over quickly, I was up. And like, I was like, couldn't go back to sleep. 
and I really feel like I should have went ahead and set my alarm and got up and just like been a trooper about it. That's why instead of getting a hot chocolate, I'm drinking water. I'm trying to conserve calories because it didn't work out. And tomorrow's the day that I said I would check in with you guys and let you know how my Lent experience is going, so <laughs> trying to make it awesome. And back to the weather situation, I had no damage to my house or anything like that, but there was a tornado in Rockwall and my brother's fence flew down in Frisco. I guess I just don't think about the tornado season too much. We have it twice a year. It's just kind of like, what happens? That's what I wanted to talk about today, our weather situation and the reason I didn't get up, although I should have gotten up. I really should have. Do any of y'all have severe weather, like thunderstorms, high winds like 70 miles an hour, tornadoes? stuff like that. Down here in Texas, we're not just all okay with it, but when we hear like a storm's coming, we just kind of prepare a little bit, but we don't all go like, <gasps> and when I tell other folks about like, oh yeah, we had a tornado siren go off or whatever, and they're like, <gasps> and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's okay. I think it's the same way we react about tornadoes as like people up north react about like snowstorms. If there's going to be a hint of ice or snow, we like buy out all the bread, all the milk, all the water, and we're like getting candles. Even though there's not even like a possibility that we'd be snowed in, we act like we're going to be snowed in and we just go like all oh, like, that's when we go, ah! Hey y'all and welcome back to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I am using the excuse that I don't feel well as the reason I'm drinking hot chocolate. But honestly, when something tastes this good, you don't need a reason. I don't feel super bad or anything like that. Like, I'm not like, Bleh! or anything, so. And I've got to do things today. I've got to get some stuff done. What are your thoughts on slow responders to text messages? Because I have several people in my life that are notorious for taking forever to respond. Like, we'll be texting and... I'll text, and then a few minutes later, they'll text, and I'll text, and then a year later, they text back. I left wondering, like, did the text go through? Did they read it? Are they just ignoring me? Is my phone broken? Is their phone broken? Do I need a new phone? And then I'm thinking, do I text them again? Do I, like, call them? Do I send them a letter? Do I show up at their work and make sure they're okay? Do I call 911? Yeah, that's what I want to talk about today, the, the people in my life that are slow responders. Or, like, worse, some people are no responders. Share your thoughts and feel free to step up and say, I'm a slow responder. Maybe tell us why. Hey y'all and welcome back to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a water and I'm being driven. I'm being driven. What I was trying to say was I'm being driven to work by my husband because he's going to go somewhere. He's going to use the car. So, woo, happy Friday. I don't have any mascara on and it's really hard to film in this like environment where we're being like... Yeah. Roller coaster ride. Yeah, for real. Hey, honey, how do you feel about slow responders? Like when you text somebody and they're like really slow to respond. Mm, it irritates me sometimes. I just spilled water because the car is like bouncing everywhere. And so, yeah. Mm. Honey, what are your plans for today? I'm going to the doctor. Doctor, doctor. I've got this disease. <laughs> no, you don't. Yesterday's topic was brought up by the fact that one of my friends, <coughs> Kate, didn't respond to my text quickly. But it's all good. Also, you're supposed to go, Kate, not <coughs> Kate. <laughs> so, Kate was the one that didn't, did I do it right that time? You did, absolutely. Thanks. The lighting is like really horrible here. It just keeps changing. But anyways, I need to give a shout out to someone. Hey Tess, she is my B-Y-T-F-F, -F, my best YouTube friend forever. She wrote that as a comment on one of my videos and I thought it was hilarious. I had to give her a shout out. So, hey girl. That's what I want to talk about. The fact that, I don't know, what did we talk about? Basically, I gave a shout out to Kate and to Tess, and we talked about Marvin being my chauffeur, so. 
If you want to stalk me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome, and on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, it's Side of Awesome 5. But just don't stalk me in real life, though. Because that's creepy. <laughs>